Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the 10-year UK government bond or the 10-year gilts. Now in order to understand what's been going on with this, we need to take a step back and just reflect on some of the some of the interesting macro events that have been occurring in the UK in the last couple of weeks. So of course we've had a big change in government with new Prime Minister Liz Truss coming in setting up her mini budget with Kwasi Kwarteng, which outlined sig some significant tax cuts and tax breaks for the UK public. However, this went in direct contradiction to the rising inflation in the UK, which is expected to hit 20% later this year. Now, the issues arise because as tax cuts are brought into the population, it increases the flow of spending and doesn't help the inflation situation at all. In fact, it makes it worse. Therefore, what we saw in the bond market was increasing yields and lowering bond prices. This was problematic because many retirement funds in the UK hold a lot of these government bonds and fixed income secure uh, fixed income products and assets of up to one trillion um, pounds. Therefore, as these prices were coming down and the bond yields were going up, as we can see over here, the issues were that a lot of these funds were starting to become insolvent and illiquid as they had to start covering more collateral or putting up more collateral and therefore selling their other assets. And this created a vicious cycle that needed to be broken because at each time these other assets were sold, it would bring down the price and increase the yield because as we know, bond prices and bond yields are inversely related. So therefore, the Bank of England decided to step in and stop these big funds from potentially going under, and they committed to buying up to a billion pound, or five billion pounds a day worth of government bonds to a total of 40 billion pounds of these government bonds in order to prop up the market. However, since this date, we can see that the government... Um, Initially, we saw a, a, a immediate relief and it dropped about, um, the yields dropped almost uh, 0.7 of a percent before falling right back down to about a percent. However, the Bank of England hasn't actually been able to buy back the, the maximum amount of bonds that they said they would. And therefore, the bond market has been pushing, pushing the Bank of England to step up. And as we can see, the yields have crept back up almost to where they were prior to the announcement of the intervention. Therefore, the Bank of England has actually committed to extending the maximum amount that they would be spending on these, um, these fixed income bonds, which will hopefully prop up the market again and push this down. But the important thing to note is that we are not out of the woods with regards to risk of these big funds going under. The hope is that they'll have enough time to reorganize these assets and remain liquid and solvent. As we have a look at how this situation has affected the pound, whoops, just bear with me. What we can see is that, just bear with me. We can see that initially on the day, or on these, and when the first issue or the budget cuts came in and the bond yields were rising, saw this massive drop in the pound. And since then, we obviously seen a recovery before pushing back down again. So the question remains, well, is the Bank of England's intervention going to be enough to completely stop the pound from dropping? Or will, or will the pound keep going as these and the market test out the Bank of England. So th there you go, guys. It's definitely one to watch and to see how the market reacts to the Bank of England continuing these bond buy, the, the buying of these bonds, and to see if the yields do start to drop and the pound can increase. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading. And just remember, you can trade the 10-year government bonds on Go Markets MetaTrader 5. So there's an opportunity there to try and profit and maximize your edge on these on this recent price action. But there you go guys, thanks for watching.